Hey guys, we're the AB family, and since we're not traveling for the summer, we are actually going to be traveling virtually using Google Arts and Culture. So today we're going to be doing a really fun scavenger hunt. Are you guys ready? Yes. I'm ready. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. We're going to get a bunch of different clues, and we have to search around the Google Arts and Culture site and try to figure out what the answer is. I've never done this before. Never. I'm excited. Very of course. Excited. It's Google. It's Google. So it's el Google que hace las cosas de la tecnología para que uno pueda viajar. Yep. So here we are on the home page. Okay. Our first clue is what famous ancient city has cities on every continent named after it, except for Antarctica. Hmm. <laughs> can we can we get a hint? Hint. This city also has a museum dedicated entirely to pasta. Ah. Italy? Uh, Rome? Yay! Oh, look how beautiful this is. Uh, That's great. Can you uh, just hear the music? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Non-copyright music <laughs> playing so that we don't get in trouble. You can go to oh, wow. Museo Carlo Bellotti. Wow, I amazing. Like that accent. Awesome. You like my accent? Wow. Yeah, very good accent. Yes. Grazie. Can we just can we just appreciate Rome for a little bit and the, the imagery? History. Wow. Remember when we were there? I remember, I remember. that. It was hot. It was hot. It was hot. Oh my goodness. It was I hot. Know, I remember. Do you guys remember this? I asked. Okay, now I remember that. All right. Look how big wow. it is. Do you remember how big this was? Yeah, that's massive. Wow. Mommy got emotional. Yeah. Of course, I got emotional because my grandfathers were from Italy mm -hmm. and just being able to go there and to witness the beauty, the architecture, the culture, and it's like we're there. We're, we're literally there. walking through the Colosseum. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Look, we don't even need to go to the ticket office, guys, but yes. there it is. That's the ticket office of the Colosseum. La billeteria. La billeteria. <laughs> so you're not only just learning about culture, yeah. but you're also learning the Italian language with Mama B. Okay, guys, scavenger hunt. Question number two. The coins thrown into this fountain are collected every day and donated to a number of charities. Hmm. Ooh, well, that's very nice. Oh. What was that fountain where the lady fell into the thing in the in the water in the movie in the the fountain? This fountain was made of travertine stone, a mineral formed from hot springs. It's the same stone the Colosseum is made out of. It starts with a T. Three, three, three. Famous, famous fountains, fountains famous of Rome. Famous, famous fountains of Rome. Oh, so it was in Rome. Famous fountains of Rome. Famous fountains of Rome. Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain. Trevi. The Trevi Fountain. Trevi. Trevi. I cannot say oh, Trevi. That's so funny. It's Trevi. 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 Trevi Fountain is known to many as the symbol of the Italian Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita, the sweet life. And remember, we couldn't even see it. I yeah. remember that. I remember we couldn't that. get close. And look now, oh, we're right look there. Look how beautiful I that can is. just touch it. When you see construction in modern buildings, you don't see that type of detail. Like, yeah. look at the detail in the in the columns, right? Wow. Clue three. Which city's opera house contains a secret lake beneath it that inspired the Phantom of the Opera? <gasps> see the opera house? <gasps> Guys, look at us. We're, we're going to Australia. We're. Look at us. We're flying all over the place. We're flying all over the place. Oh, oh, wow. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Is the answer the Sydney Opera House? No. No, it's not. Okay, okay this city is known as the city of love. Paris. Yes. Oh my goodness. 41 collections that we can look into Opera. regarding Paris. The Opera Nationale de Paris. Wow. wow. That's amazing. So interesting. I was actually thinking of France, but um, because I was thinking Les Miserables. Ah, uh, yes. So here's a top down view of the Opera Nationale de Paris. Wow. wow. Look how beautiful this is. Like you can look. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, oh, so you can like zoom in and out. So if your friend's house is like over there, you can be like, hey, I can see your house from here. It's like you're flying a kite. Look how beautiful this is, just being on the rooftop wow. of the wow. Alba National I've Valley. always wanted to go to Paris, and now I am in Paris. Clue number four. four. All right, let's do this. This iconic structure gets a fresh coat of paint every seven years, which requires over 60 metric tons of paint. Whoa. Hint, this tower was originally designed as the entrance 
to the 1889 World Fair. I think I know what it is. Oh, hold on. I think I know what it is. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We'll say it together. Ready? Okay, ready? One, One two, two, three. Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower. Wow. The Eiffel Tower. You did it. You guys well, did it. The Eiffel Tower was built by Gustave Eiffel for the 1889 Exposition Universelle, which was to celebrate the 100th year anniversary of the French Revolution. So this is the street view of the Eiffel Tower. So we're actually uh, on the Eiffel Tower right now. Do you know how many people have gotten engaged yeah. at this location? Okay. How many marriages and life journeys have begun here in the city of love? We should do like a, a virtual renewal of vows. <laughs> We're here at the, t at the top of the Eiffel Tower and uh, Mama B, I ask you that you marry me once again, that we renew our vows. In, uh, in holy matrimony, for better or for worse, till death was part, I love you, Mama B. We. Clue number five. While it took two years, two months, and five days to construct the Eiffel Tower, experts estimate this stone structure took 1,500 years to complete. What? 1,500 years. Stonehenge? Could it be? Try Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, England, two miles west of Amesbury. It consists of a ring of standing stones, with each standing stone around 13 feet high, 7 feet wide, and weighing around 25 tons. Can you imagine buying Stonehenge in an auction? But can you also imagine how much 6,600 pounds was in 1915? Shout out to Cecil Chobra. <sighs> Clue number six. Stonehenge is a circle, but this magnificent place makes up a line, making it the longest man-made structure in the world. <gasps> the longest man-made structure in the world. Is it the Great Wall of China? Oh! Whoa! Mr. B, you're on a roll. The Great wow. Wall of China. The Great Wall of China has become the most important and symbolic structure in the country's history. The main purpose of the wall was to fend off hostile forces and protect Chinese culture from invaders. We're taking in a lot of knowledge today, guys. Too We're much knowledge. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. B for getting the answer of scavenger hunt clue number six. Nice. Clue number seven, where were fortune cookies invented? China. Or maybe Japan? Or Korea? I think China. Korea. The city is also famous for its hilly streets and trolley transport. Oh, oh, I know where this is. San Francisco. Yay! Yay! San Francisco. Good work, All right. Thank what? you. San Francisco is the 16th most populous city in the United States and the fourth most populous in California with 881,549 residents. Wow. Oh my goodness. And the creators of the fortune cookie. And the creators of the fortune Which cookie. We love. The Golden Gate Bridge. Wow, look at these incredible photos. They bring you back in time. Don't yeah. you feel? Uh, you do feel like you're back in like time. Like you're back. Wow, okay, so the construction of the Golden Gate Bridge took four years and cost $35 million. $35 million. Back in the day. So it actually took two years more than the Eiffel Tower. That's huh. crazy. Oh. Clue number eight. This city has a bridge that looks like a twin to the Golden Gate Bridge. <gasps> mm. Oh, twin to the Golden Gate Bridge. This city is in Portugal. It's the second oldest European capital. And like San Francisco, it's also known for its historic trolleys. City the city in, in Portugal. Portugal. Is it Açores? Mm. Oh, is it? Is it Lisbon? together. Portugal. Portugal. Oh yeah, look at the trolleys. Lisbon is the capital and the largest city of Portugal. So Portugal is known for its tiles and mosaics. Ah, oh wow, look at this. Wow. The National Azulejo Museum. Oh, look at these tiles. We could learn a lot about mosaic art and all this tile art. Incredible. So this is the Tower of Belen. So there's a ton of cannons. Are those cannons? Those look like cannons. Mm -hmm. So this bridge here is the one that is identical to the Golden Gate Bridge. Wow. 
That's crazy. So that's the one. That is the one. And you can see it from the rooftop of the Tower of Belém. Clue number nine. Okay, part one. This country is bigger than Pluto. <gasps> wow. And part two, which theater houses the largest ballet company in the world? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, is it Russia? <gasps> oh! All right, guys. There's 37,700 items with Russia, and there's all kinds of different collections, all kinds of stories. For part two of the hint, which theater houses the largest ballet company in the world? Mm. But why don't we look for Ballet Russia? It's on the tip of my tongue, the, the name of the theater, the ballet, the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, one second here, go down. The, the Bolshoi Theater. The Bolshoi Theater. Yeah! Bolshoi Theater. Wow. 1776. Putting history on center stage. It's massive. I but would the, love to watch a show in there. Oh, but there's wow. no chair there that looks like there's no seating area that looks uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? Right. Oh, I just went to the. Oh, <gasps> wow. Oh, Those are the oh my gosh. You can tour every part of the Bolshoi Theater pretty much. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, look at how beautiful the. Uh, the costumes are. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to see a ballet performance. Wow. <laughs> like a Jeez. professional one. Clue number 10. Woo! The clue is, this wonder of the world was built to honor the emperor's wife after she died. Ah. Oh. Well, there are seven wonders of the world. Hint, it took over 1,000 elephants to help transport the building supplies to India. Oh, Mama B? The Taj Mahal? Yeah! What? And I had no idea it was built for the emperor's wife. There it me is. Me neither. I had no idea. Wow, no. why don't you build me a Taj Mahal? Well, because you're not dead. <laughs> Thank you. You just saved me there. The Taj Mahal is an ivory white marble mausoleum on the south bank of the Yamuna River in the Indian city of Agra. Symphony of Love. Oh, oh wow. Symphony of Love. I think the uh, the towers are the things that are really eye opening to me because it's just like they almost look like watchtowers over the Taj Mahal to make sure that the wife is safe. Aww, that's so romantic. Wow. wow. A close person over the Taj Mahal. Look at this, guys. <laughs> you know what's what's amazing is that we've always seen pictures of the Taj Mahal from from back. But now we're actually standing at yeah, the Taj Mahal looking facing out. to where yeah, all the cameras are. Who's in the mood for some butter chicken? Mm. And some gulab jamun. Oh, and some naan. Yeah, <laughs> naan. So we are actually in one of the towers, in one of the minarets. Okay, so I've never imagined that I could see the Taj Mahal from this angle. No. There's no gates or anything there. Yeah. You see that? This is amazing. I mean, the access is incredible. Okay, so we got it right, guys. Yeah. 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 That was the, we got 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10! Yay! 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 Wow, we got 10 out of 10, guys. That was it. That was an amazing scavenger. That was so, so much fun. fun. So when the borders open back up and this pandemic is over, where do you guys want to travel first? Paris. The Taj Mahal. Mm, I got to say Italy. Oh. With everything that we've learned today, there's actually a quote that I really love that says, the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page. And that's by St. Augustine and it's one of my favorite quotes. Amazing. Well, all right guys, thank you. And thank you again to Google Arts and Culture. We love you guys and we'll see you again soon. Peace.